Hi, my name is Desi, Desiree Wilmers. I'm 49 years old. I'm half Spanish, half German, and I have lived all over the world. I love cooking and entertaining, and one of my all-time favorites is a Spanish tortilla, which is nothing else um, than an omelette. And you use potatoes, yellow potatoes favorably, um, onions, and eggs. And that's all you need. And I have um, cooked in our little boutique hotel that I used to run in the south of Spain. I cooked for people like Ed Sheeran. I have cooked for colleagues from work. I have cooked here in Connecticut for friends. My husband is a teacher and sometimes he needs food to take to school for events. And this is just a, a favorite for everybody. Um, even recently I went to a party where there were kids and they were very fussy with what they ate. And then I presented my tortilla and the kids ate it uh, and they loved it because it's a simple dish. You can sometimes decorate it and make it look very fancy. It is sometimes served at weddings. So you can play around with it and I will show you how to make it. You want to peel the potatoes and then you want to slice them. Slice them really thin. Something like this. And to listen to some Spanish music helps. Makes it more fun. Slice the onions. You also slice them very thinly. And then later you chop them up. And if you want to cook with kids, then you can make it fun. And when you cut the onions, all you do is you wear some swimming goggles. Which makes it a whole lot fun for kids. So you cut the onions um, thinly, you chop them, then you put salt on your potatoes that you have cut previously. And I like to um, fry, deep fry the onions first, very slightly so that they become golden, they get a golden color. And um, so I deep fry them first and then after about four minutes or so I add the potatoes. important for making this Spanish tortilla is that you use Spanish virgin olive oil. I couldn't find any Spanish olive oil today, so I'm using some olive oil from California, which will do, but it has to be extra virgin oil. So whilst the potatoes and onions are cooking, you want to start preparing the eggs. I have already cracked five eggs, and this is the sixth egg. I don't tend to crack it on the bowl itself because some um, eggshells can fall into the, um, into the bowl. So, I crack it on the table and then put the egg in, take my fork and start beating the egg. You want to beat fast and quick so that the eggs um, get air into them. This is fun. Again, if you do it with kids, this is a fun job to do for the kids um, to beat the eggs. Once you've fried the onions and the potatoes, um, you want to make sure that they are looking something like this. They have to be a little bit soft, but not too mushy. I always drain them from the oil. Some people, they make the tortilla just like that. They take the, the um, potatoes and onions that are soaked and then they fry it and make it into like this omelet that, that looks like a cake. But I like to drain um, the oil off. And then once this is drained, the potatoes are drained, you take them and you put them in the eggs that you have beaten prior. So you put the eggs in there. Let it sit. Make sure it's all covered with the egg yolks, with the eggs, with the eggs, not egg yolks, sorry. And you can use the oil from frying the potatoes and the onions. You take a little bit and put it into another skillet. Just enough to coat the skillet. So now you are frying the potatoes and the eggs. You use a rubber spatula. And sometimes you just push 
um, everything down a little bit. You wiggle the pan. And now comes the difficult bit, the difficult part, but it's not that difficult actually. Once you have practice, it's easy. You need a plate that is slightly larger than the skillet. And then you take the plate, put it over the skillet, and then you flip it around. And then you put it back and cook the other side. Some people like to flip the tortilla three, four times so it gets darker and darker and that's up to you. I usually do it once or twice if I see like now this is not very, it's not dark enough for me and maybe not cooked enough so later I will flip it around again. But usually I do it um, in one go. I keep the potatoes and eggs a little bit longer in the skillet so they get a little bit browner and um, or more golden if you like. But um, some people they flip it around three, four times. And the more you flip it and the more you cook it, obviously inside it gets also more firm. I like to have my tortilla a little bit more liquid inside, but that's just um, taste and prep. Now we have our perfect Spanish tortilla, Spanish omelette. It looks a little bit like a cake. Um, and you can actually cut it either in triangles or in little squares. And if you put it in little squares, then you can put it on really nice little uh, plates and maybe decorate them with a little bit of aioli sauce or with piquillo peppers. One more thing I would like to say is that you can make this tortilla either with or without onions. You can even put peppers into it. You can put chorizo into it. So it's um, what everybody likes. I prefer the simple onion, potato and egg tortilla, but everybody is different and tastes are different. So um, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you.